my son was strangled when I was 19. And he throws it up every day in my face and tell me I'm a no good mother and that it's my fault that my son died. Your son was strangled? Yes, ma'am. How old was the son? He was three months. Oh. Did you throw that up in her face that somebody strangled her son? She's the judge who gives rules on the law and life. She's intense with common sense. She's Judge Lynn Toller on Divorce Court where real couples deal with real life. With seven years together and four children leading up to their marriage, Kia and Mario expected a happy life together. But the honeymoon wasn't even over when Kia and Mario separated three days after saying I do. I had a modeling shoot to go to, and he told me that I was too fat and too ugly to be in the shoot and that only pigs do things like that. I ain't had a key since I've been with this woman. Now, what she would do is let me hold the key and make me feel like I was gonna have the key. You know what I mean? Can Judge Lynn extend the days of this marriage, or will this be the final time this couple can be called Mr. and Mrs.? Today, on Divorce Court. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Kia Banner and Mario Hunter. The two of you have been married one year, but have been separated on and off since the third day of marriage. You have uh, four children together, and um, you are here today to uh, finally end this thing. Uh, you do have a, a, a substantial financial matter that you want me to address at some point, but before we do that, Mrs. Banner, I'm gonna start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your marriage and why we're in divorce court today? I'm here today because I've been with Mr. Hunter for seven years, I've been married to him for a year. Three days after, like you said, we separated. Mr. Hunter has a very bad alcohol problem. Mm -hmm. One incident, we had a birthday party mm -hmm. for him, and he was drinking like four or five half a gallons of liquor, about four or five forties. And he decided, well, I decided to mess with him because he was so drunk mm -hmm. and annoying. Mm -hmm. So I told him the police was coming. Mm -hmm. And so when I did, he took off out the door, jumped over the balcony, and ran down the hill into the tree head first. Well, you would think that he would, you know, stop drinking. That didn't stop Mr. Hunter. He come back in the house, drank another two, three half a gallons of liquor, music blasting all night long. So that morning, I got up, and I say, well, uh, here come the police again. Mr. Hunter decided to take <laughs> back out the door, <laughs> over the balcony, jumps <laughs> down the hill, and runs back into the tree, the same one that he ran into the first time. He busted his whole face up. He said it was my fault. Well, then you'll still think, well, okay, Mr. Honey don't learn his lesson today, and he gonna stop. Nope, that didn't top it all off. He go drink some more 40s. He gets mad, call me all kind of bees and slut buckets and all them words, and then he goes to the car. Now, he's gonna leave me now. He's, he's ready to go. So, he gets to the car, he slams his hand in the door. Now he's crying like a pig, he wants somebody to help him. So, he gets his hand out of the car, goes sits on the front porch, smokes him a cigarette, and it falls down in between his legs and he burns his wood. <laughs> so then, he goes in the bathroom, puts some ointment on it, and then when he did that, I guess he decided that he wasn't paying attention. He zipped it up in the zipper all the way up. It took us 20 minutes to get the skin out and he screamed. Now, Mr. Hunter. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> did all that stuff happen They try to, to you? break me down, I go harder. But did all that stuff really happen? Yeah, it really happened. <laughs> Because, I mean, that's the way it went. I mean, uh, it okay. is what it is. All right. Uh, Mr. Honey, would you agree with me that alcohol, the, the amount of alcohol that you consume is, is not good for you? That, that it's causing you difficulties? No. Um, <laughs> no, it ain't the alcohol. Do you drink, do you think you drink too much? No, no. I drank 
to enjoy myself and have a good time. <laughs> that's why she say the music be blasting. That's why I drink, because I like to, when I go to work and come home, I like to chill. I like to have a good time. And I drink my little stuff, and I, hey, I sit there and I lay there and go to sleep. But if you come messing with me, then things happen. You come making false obligations to things that you don't even know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah, police coming. What well, I'm going to do? I ain't going to jail on my birthday. <laughs> I'm not going to jail wait, on my wait, birthday. Wait, wait, wait. You had a warrant out on you. No, so. that's something they played me. They, they, they played a prank on me. Oh, OK. Now, the Mr. Hunter, Wayne. you say that Miss Banner is controlling. Why don't you explain that Yeah, she's that controlling. I understand that she won't give you a key to your own home. I ain't had a key since I've been with this woman. Have you asked her for a key? Yeah, I've asked a key for a plenty of time. And what does she tell you when she doesn't no. give you a key? No, what she do is let me hold the key and feel like, make me feel like <laughs> I was gonna have the key. You know what I mean? Because the first key he no. had, he lost it. And we no, didn't have no way to get in the house. I had to pay $35 to get a new key. And I refused to give him another key. I gave the key to my she mother. Key so we will always have a spare key. Okay. But well, he a... never went anywhere, so he's always at home. Okay. Whatever. So he didn't need a key. No. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. I never okay. had a key. She lent me a key. I didn't give him the keys to the car either. Because nope. they gave the keys to the car, she you might get drunk. And well, Mr. Hunter, you there say too. she controls all your money, too, that every week yeah, when you control... come home with a paycheck, she wants it all. Yeah, she takes it all and give me drink, Phil. And she gives you what? Drink, Phil. Drink who? A drink for me, get some alcohol. She, give, oh. she gives me drink, Phil. She... She would take my whole check. That's a lie. She would take my That's check. That's a lie. She would take my whole check and lend me out a little bit of money. Come on, I'm a grown man. I was the one working in the house, and I'm the one who paid all the bills, every bill that we ever had. But right. when it came down to maintaining our household, Mr. Hunter could not do that. And it okay. irritated me every week okay. that I had to come okay. home and have to beg him to go get a job. Okay. Right now, at that time, I didn't even care if he hustled a little bit. Just, as just long bring as he something brought in the something house. home. When Divorce Court continues, what will Mario have to say for his antics? My son was strangled when I was 19, and he throws it up every day in my face to tell me I'm a no good mother and that it's my fault that my son died. I have not went to go see my son's grave in nine years because of that. Did you throw that up in her face? Are you ready to call it quits only months after the wedding? Call toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com or become a fan at facebook.com slash divorcecourt. Divorce Court is back with the case of Kia Banner, who left her husband after three days of marriage because of his drinking problem. But does Kia have problems too? Well, did you ever accuse her of being an inadequate mother? Yeah, I have. And why have you done that? You say there are things that he does intentionally to emotionally abuse you. You, you, you say My he comes after you. Why don't you, why don't you tell me about that? Oh, you just don't even know. Well, when he gets me. that alcohol in his system, everybody is slut buckets, tricks, hoes, things, whatever, whatever it is, whatever he feel like he gonna call you at that time. So one day, I was going, I had a modeling shoot to go to. I was doing some, you know, little modeling shoots and things like that. And he told me that I was too fat and too ugly to be in the shoot and that only pigs do things like that. Oh. And I didn't even go. I don't even go that hard. Mr. Hunter, did you do that? I don't go that hard, baby. I'm sweet as, I'm sweet as gold. But you're not going to, you're not going to, you're well, not how do you know how hard you go when you don't even know? I don't drink like know. that. Yeah, you do. You, you ran into the same tree twice. Yeah, well, baby, <laughs> but I drank on my time, on my time. I drank on my time. So, what you're saying is, you handle your business in the daytime. Yeah, when you drink, you drink. Yeah. But you don't drink all the time. No. <laughs> so, you don't, you're saying you never told her that? No. Those things. I think you told her because she cried when she said it. Okay, she didn't that's what you thought. And you made it, you, you don't remember everything you say when you're drinking, do you? No. Most of. Most of. Did he remember the most time of. when he sat there and told me? Most of. Most my, of. My son most was strangled of. when I was 19. And he throws it up every day in my face and tell me I'm a no good mother and that it's my fault that my son died. I have not went to go see my son's grave in nine years because of that. Your son was strangled? Yes, ma'am. And he threw it up in my face all the time. Every day he gets mad, he threw it in my face. How, how old 
old was the son? He was three months. Oh. oh. The, the individual who did it went to jail, right? Yep, for 580 days. Oh, Mrs. Banner, I am so sorry. If you're supposed to have a husband that love you, you shouldn't even did that to me. Did you, did you throw that up in her face that somebody strangled her son? I didn't know her situation. What do you mean I so, didn't, so, you didn't know so his situation? How can I throw the kid was strangled. Face. What do you want to know? How can I throw something in your face that I don't know your situation? Like, all I know your baby died. And so you told her she wasn't a good mother because her baby no, died? No, no, no. It, it didn't have nothing to do with that baby. You, you ain't about your responsibility. Well, did you ever accuse her of being an inadequate mother? Yeah, I have. And why have you done that? Because what has she done that my you children disrespect, She got my children where they disrespect me. They, yeah, they say foul father, things out their mouth. What do they say to you? Uh, you shut up. You know, I'm, I'm not that type of father that my children gonna disrespect me. So when I do say something to you, that's how I come to you like that. Your Honor, our kids don't even call him daddy. They call him D. Yeah, they call me because D. He sits That's right how disrespectful she is. That's what they I call, call him. me D. Do you call, are you home when you drink? Do you drink at home? Yeah. On, on the porch, <laughs> outside. But do they do they see what daddy you do drink? and how you no, behave no, when no, you drink? No, no. That's how do they not? How they not? Yeah. Most how do they not? If you're drinking at I'm home, I'm under a shade tree. I do an old school. I'm either under a shade tree, or I'm sitting in the backyard somewhere where they don't see me. They and see I don't you. want them around me. They see you and they know. No, I'm telling you that. Don't. Yes, they Mother do. Don't. Yes, they Mother do. Don't. Children aren't dumb. They know where their father is. But they know when he's been drinking. But children I know stay that. in a child's place. When Divorce Court continues, will Mario admit to cheating on Kia? We went on a family vacation mm. and, and we had we was having a great mm. time. It was me, him, you know, some family members and a young lady. So we get back to North Carolina and I find out that the girl is actually his girlfriend. If you would like your case heard on Divorce Court, call us toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com and follow us on Twitter at Divorce Court. Divorce Court returns with the case of Mario Hunter, who is separated from his wife of a year because he says she has turned his own children against him. But is the well-being of her children all she cares about? He came in drunk like always, started calling me bees and hoes and treats and slut buckets. And if our daughters have to see that, they're gonna always follow that footstep. And if our sons see it, they're gonna always be doing the same thing. Absolutely. And he should be showing an example for all of them. You say that he brought a girlfriend on vacation with you yeah. and said she was a friend of his. We went on a family vacation mm. and, and we had we was having a great mm. time. It was me, him, you know, some family members and a young lady. Well, we down, we went out of town, you know, make a long story short, we went out of town. And I was get ready to take a nap. Well, he said, well, we're gonna go smoke a cigarette. Four hours went by, they not back. So I didn't think of nothing. I'm thinking I could trust my husband because he loves me that much. Whoop de doo, not gonna happen. So we get back to North Carolina, and I find out that the girl is actually his girlfriend. Do you admit that you have cheated on her during the course of your relationship? Because you guys have been back and forth the whole time. So, but, but I didn't cheat on her when I married her. When I married her, once you got married, no, you I didn't cheat on her when I when I married her. I treated her like a, a woman. I, I honored her, and she still brought the same thing that we done in the past back to me. Right. You know what I mean? I got you. She, she, she won't let life. it go. Yeah, she would never let it go. Miss Banner, did he... She did never he, let it go. Was he faithful to you once he did marry you? Well, do you call faithful as when you get mad at me and tell me how many women you got? How many women you gonna... What's gonna do for you? That I'm not nothing? That you regret the day that you married me? <sighs> that you only married me out of spite to spite the other woman? Come on now. How is a woman supposed to feel? Mm. Have Lower said, than low. Mm. Have you said those things to her, Mr. Hunter? I yeah, do uh, double yeah, sit here and say I, you did. Out of anger, I have said it, but she said the same thing to me. She she married a she she's married. She finna marry a man that's been in her life for years before I even came. They've been messing around. She takes me to uh cookouts and stuff. And this man is here, but she had to portray as my friend. Now he's lying. She had to portray. We hanging well, around. You, you and, do have and this a new is guy on the back burner. You ready to? Do I want to get married to him? Yeah. Yeah, I would love to. See? 
but it ain't, that's not the reason why our marriage is falling. No, there it our is. Marriage, fell apart first. Our marriage, Ben fell, okay. Your Honor, He been in our life ago. from the beginning. I am a good girl. Right. Everybody that At knows first. me will tell you that, that I am a good girl. And I, right. I am a mother that stay mm. home with my kids every day. Right. I don't club. I don't mm. party. Mm. I don't do none of that. Did you cheat on him with no, that? No, I didn't cheat on him. Why don't you tell me what the final straw was, Mrs. Banner? The final straw mm -hmm. was two days after Christmas. Mm -hmm. He came in drunk like always, started calling me bees and hoes and tricks and slut buckets, and just start tearing up my house. Like, it wasn't nothing. You know, and I'm like, we ain't gonna never have nothing nice if you don't stop tearing it up. And I just felt I like that day was the end of it. We have two daughters and two sons. And if our daughters have to see that, they're gonna always follow that footstep. And if our sons see it, they're gonna always, always be doing do the it. same thing. Absolutely. And he should be showing an example for all of them, not just, just two. She need to write the a book. Other, or the other you kids need to that write you a have, book. you know. When Divorce Court continues, is Mario at it again? Anytime he starts drinking or he gets mad at me, he'll tell me, I'm not watching the kids. Go find somebody to watch your own kids because he will walk out. Do, do you know? Do you, oh. Miss, Mr. Hunter. Divorce Court returns with the case of Kia Banner and Mario Hunter, who are ending their one year marriage after separating three days into the honeymoon. Tell me but about the twenty-eight hundred dollars you want to want me she to play a hell of a role. From Mr. And I'm talking um, about you don't Mr. Play Hunter Hutch. Okay, yes, ma'am. I was I was working, and Mr. Hunter, anytime he starts drinking or he gets mad at me, he'll tell me I'm not watching the kids. Go find somebody to watch your own kids. So some days I would have to sit there, have to drive all over Asheville to find somebody that I trust enough to watch our kids because he will walk out. Miss, Mr. Hunter, do you watch the children? Do you? No, I took care of them children. No, when you, I lost, when you she don't live in the same she, city anymore, she, right? No, I left. I, no, she made me homeless. Uh -huh. She put me out on the street in the snow. A friend of mine gave me somewhere to stay. He deserved it. So you're working yeah. currently. Are you, is that right? Ma'am, you're, you're not working. Oh, no, I got fired because Big Daddy, she don't even this is what it was. Yeah, Our really? son had to have surgery. Don't and I had work. called him to ask him to come up and help me. And he told me, I'll call and check on him. So my supervisor that told me happened? since she's that She's a liar. Happened, I call her a red devil lie. That's what is she? She's a red devil that lies. Ma'am. Don't do so tell lies. Lost your I job lost my job March 5th. I wasn't even here. I wasn't even there on March 5th. The reason why I lost it How is much because money were you making? What kind of $8 job was it? $8 an hour. Let, I was, let me, do you have any information yes, on that? Yeah. 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 I yeah. was working so for So do you know she service. had to quit her job at some point? She didn't so have she to could... quit her job. She was working when I left. She fired me when she got the job. <laughs> I, I don't babysit it. I was keeping the kids for her to get the job. The job was the excuse. You didn't care nothing about me so no more when you got there. your job. I'm not arguing with you. Don't, don't sit up hey, in front and try to fuck with hey, 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 hey. can I real. say one more thing? Oh, please. When this, when, when Mr. Hunter sit around here and try to disgrade me to make it seem like I'm Mr. just Hunter this left a long big, time ago. you know, whore and I do all this stuff, He's a liar. All right. mm -hmm. He's a straight bona fide mm -hmm. liar. Mm -hmm. And that hurts my feelings it's for somebody to swear they love you so much to sit here on and do stuff like that. Yes. Yeah. Please, Mr. Banner, and I'm glad Hunter, that I won the it, voice. It, it comes, in this case. We both confused and messed this, up. This case comes down sheerly to, just, just to credibility. Who do I believe and who don't I believe? Oh, I'm real with mine. And, 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 and that's all it comes down to. If I believe her, mm -hmm. I believe that she had to leave that job mm -hmm. to take care of those kids what? because you refused to do so. I if here. I believe you, you don't even listen. Yeah, I'm not even yeah, say anything about who but I believe But you try to make me yet. look like I'm wrong. That ain't right. I'm not even going to waste my time. I believe her. $2,800 well, a on you. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, all right. That's your job. Parties may leave the courtroom. Kia says she's going ahead with the divorce and not looking back. She says Mario did change a little bit from being on the show. When their son got sick recently, he was there for him. But things between them as a couple are definitely over. She's very thankful to the show for making her feel beautiful again. And she wants to thank the judge for believing in her and understanding how she feels as a single mom.